Hey, it's Cothy and welcome back to my channel. Now, I just want to say, before I get into today's video, um, you know, because, you know, it's a very, very difficult time, as I keep on saying, I just want to say that if you're ever feeling down or, you know, you're not feeling too good or anything like that, don't hesitate to drop me a message. I'm on, uh, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And as I'm talking now, I'll pop them all on the split screen for you. So, um, or be that side, I can't quite remember. It's one or the other, but yeah, uh, it's a very, very difficult time. We, we're all in this together. So please don't hesitate to drop me a message and I'll do my absolute best to, um, you know, to help you. Um, because you know it could be affecting you mentally as well and I've been there myself in the past where where, um, where you feel not too well um, or not well at all and um, and you feel isolated and um, you know and you know it's not very good is it and, and it can be scary as well so yeah uh, never hesitate to drop me a message um, whoever you are so yeah uh, so today's video I, uh, I've actually got Six ways, six simple ways to build up your confidence even in this difficult time when you're isolated at home. So, that sounds good, doesn't it? And we all want to feel um, confident, don't we? So, let's go. So take photos of yourself every day even if you don't post them. The more photos that you take, your, um, you know, and even trying different angles and whatnot, the more, f the more photos that you take, the more you're getting used to it, the more you're getting used to, um, like, the way you are in photos or, or the way you may look in photos. Um, you know, trying out different angles, di different lights, um, different face gestures. Take photos every day of yourself, e even if you delete them, e even if you, you know, like I said, don't don't post them. Just check, just checking. <laughs> yeah, your confidence will build up more and more every day. I can guarantee it. And I've got lost, but oh yeah. And even if you have to, to use a filter, right? Um, because you know, sometimes, uh, well, a lot of times I've seen, you know, you know, people put in uh, no filter used, etc, etc, it's fair enough, yeah, yeah, fair enough, but, but, um, even, like, the, mo the most confident of people, they use a filter still, and filters can look, uh, can make a photo look incredibly smart, you know, like, incredibly cool, and I love to use filters, I'll hold my hand up, I I'm very guilty of using filters, but, um, yeah, and, and, um, you know, basically what I'm saying is don't be scared to use a filter because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all. So, yeah, um, use any filter you want or you don't want one, don't. Um, use, uh, you, you know, try different backgrounds. Just basically what I'm saying is experiment and you'll slowly see, uh, well, you, you'll slowly feel better results and more positivity will come from it, trust me. Number two is keeping yourself nicely groomed. So this is kind of like going back onto the first point. If you keep yourself ni uh, nicely groomed, you'll feel better about taking photos of, it, of yourself and stuff, you know, building up your social media, etc, etc. You know, you'll then feel better about it and it'll then boost your whole mood and it'll add more positivity, as I said in the, in the last point. So keeping nicely groomed is a huge, huge um, way to contribute to all of it. Well, number three is, uh, it's very much related to the situation going on now. So, um, so if you can go out for a small walk, hi, yes, yeah, sorry to interrupt the video. Um, I think things have changed again, you know, of the whole isolation rules. So, um, um, I think just staying and walking about in your garden will, um, you know, help you. You know, the whole co uh, confidence thing. But yeah, uh, instead of going out walking, um, just little walks in in your garden if you feel well enough to. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Back to the video. 
and out into your garden. Going out for you know a small bit of you know small walk, bit of fresh air, that's going to get you used to your surroundings, and um, it's going to get you you know feeling what it's like out and about. You know if if you've got um, anxiety so bad or, or confidence so low that you can't leave the house. Um, so even just going out into your garden is going to build up more confidence for you, and it's going to um, how to put it? Yeah, it's going to make you more used to your surroundings. So, yeah, uh, it's a, it's only a little step, but it's a big step. But I know we're all isolated and all at the moment, you know, self self uh, isolation, and um, you should actually use that as a way to, um, you know, using small steps to go outside. The more you do it you'll get more used to it. Some um, some people it'll be longer for others, but the more you work at it, the more you battle it down and you know knock that imaginary wall down, that imaginary barrier, you will do it. So number four, wear something that you feel comfortable in that's smart or even nice. So like, for example, me, um, you know, whenever I'm talking, you know, in front of a camera or whichever it may be, or even, you know, you, you're going out for, I don't know, to the shop and, uh, you know, you've got something nice on, um, it's going to make you feel a lot more comfortable. So like, if you're going out and you've got like a, you know, like a stain down your top or something like that, you're not going to feel comfortable in it, are you? You're going to be thinking, oh, I wonder who's looking at me. Um, Gassy chest, I'll cut that out, but yeah. <laughs> when, you know, if you're going out and you're wearing something comfortable, so, slash something nice, or even taking a photo, you know, something looks nice, fits you well, it's going to boost your confidence in many different ways, isn't it? Next, and numero five is wearing a nice fragrance now. Say like if you're uh, if you've got a partner, you know you're in a relationship, you're living together, or like or you or you're living with like a bunch of flatmates, um, you know sharing a house with you know like five other people or four other people, something like that, and you know you got a crush on on one of them, you know if there's a girl there, you got a crush on, or if a female lads got a crush on, you know nice fragrance gonna boost your confidence to talk to them a lot more, isn't it? Um, and one nice fragrance is going to make you feel a lot more comfortable about yourself and being around people because e even though we've got this um self you know so social distancing di distancing sort of thing um i can guarantee you you will be able to smell uh, a fragrance and as i said the opposite sex will love it too oh that's your seven points but the seventh point is kind of it's kind of a conclusion, so we'll call it a six. The final point is a tidy hairstyle, and at, at the moment, your barbers and uh, or your hair salon, whichever you go to, is most probably going to be shut. So, um, like I said in a in a previous video, can't quite remember which one I called. Well, can't remember which one I called it now, but you know the. Um, the self-grooming tips when I said about um, if you're on a budget or whichever it may be. You know how I said about the bits of hair which go, you know, if it's overlapping over your ear or even back of your neck, around these parts, just, you know, shaving them off, uh, keeping it all tidy and, na and nicely shaped because I think them sort of tips are going to come in into play a lot now that we're all isolating. You know, using them ways, it's going to co uh, contribute to building up your confidence, I can guarantee it. I keep on saying guaranteeing, don't I? But it's the only word I can really think of at the moment. But yeah, um, so to conclude it, and yeah, finally, and some people may, may find this one really, really hard, but even if, even if it's your crush, messaging, just say, simply saying, have a nice day, or message them something nice 
or just a general positive message, I can guarantee it, it'll make them feel good and it'll make you feel good. I can guarantee it because, um, you know, you never know what's, what's going on in someone's mind, you know. Um, you know, me mental illness is getting a lot more awareness now. So, yeah, message someone saying, have a nice day or message someone something positive because if they're not feeling very well and you're messaging something, something positive to them, could really help them in the long run, big time. So, yeah, uh, that's it from me for this video. And like I said, if you're feeling down or you're struggling in this particular time, don't hesitate to message me. And um, at the start of the video, I popped up my, it was one of the other sides. Yeah, I don't like the, the split screen of my social media. So yeah, don't hesitate to drop me a message. If you're feeling down, I'll do my absolute best for you. Um, you know, to help you feel better through this difficult time because, uh, you know, we're all in this together and uh, we're all working as a community, whichever city, uh, whichever town, village, country, state that we're in, street that we're in, y you get the idea. So, yeah, we're all in it together. So let's work together to seeing a finish line to this bad time. And even in general, it's still, I still say it, you know. Um, so yeah, to wrap up this video, I've got another video planned, which um, I'm looking forward to doing. Um, so I'm off now and keep safe. Uh, rave safely in your bedroom, house, whichever, where, wherever you are. And uh, I'm off now and uh, yeah. Um, Bye.